So can the Blues move 12 points clear at the top by beating Brentford for the second time in six weeks? One goal was all the Blues managed at the stadium in the West London back in December, the last game of 2021. It's De Bruyne in a little bit of space in the middle. It's on towards Foden, who headed it well, actually. He was about uh, 14 metres from goal. He stretched to head it, put it wide, but it was a good attempt. It's a... Initially against this, this this shape that these teams play with, Kevin De Bruyne finds a little pocket, and I'm, I'm not sure what the zone is. The, the pitches are zoned off now, and you're able to see it, but there's an area to the left and the right. Clipped in towards Mares, Mares beaten to it by Pinnock. Godos gets to the ball in front of Stones, midway inside the City half. Goes back to Henry, who goes back to Pinnock, who plays it towards the run of Jensen he's onside, he trades the shot and Edison tips it over and now the flag goes up well, it's very odd this situation, he looked offside everybody thought he was offside the assistant didn't flag Jensen then took the shot, Edison tipped it over and then he flagged for offside and he was offside and, and, he was offside. and we're going to have to get used to it Ali it's, we're going to have to just bear with it because it is it is how it is and um, it's not going to change Stones comes in field, plays it to Foden on the edge of the D. Outside it goes to Mares. Mares creeps into the box. It goes all the way through, and David Weyer makes the save. And then, well, João Cancelo belted it with all his might, and it flew over the top of the bar. And that is the first chance of the match for the Blues. Yeah, Rio. It's just gone through the defender's legs there, which causes a problem, and the keeper's done really well. And then they defended it. Um, it's, a, it's a difficult opportunity for Cancelo coming in late. But it's, um, I think they've defended it really well. And, and fair play to them. Joao Cancelo to Raheem Sterling. Clips it in towards Ruben Diaz. Out it goes towards Mares on the edge of the penalty area. Mares, plenty in front of him, wearing red and white. He finds a ball to Foden. And Foden clips it in towards the scissors by Sterling. It was a dramatic attempt from Raheem Sterling. It was off target, but it was inventive, and it would have been a spectacular goal. Yeah, great through from Morris, just slowed them down. And they set ball, foot for foot, and onside. It's just, they just stopped the tempo, haven't they? Just the last four or five minutes. They're, they're causing them different kinds of problems, and slightly more inventive. And um, you, you, you would say that there's been a shift in in the direction of the game in the last five minutes. It's a city free kick about midway inside the Brentford half. De Bruyne over the top of it, lays it in towards Ruben Diaz, who won it, and then Laporte! Oh, that's a good save! I think it was tickled wide by the goalkeeper, was it? No, it's gone straight past the post. I thought the goalkeeper might have got a fingertip on it. It was Laporte who it's got it. It's a terrific ball, great header, he's onside. Great first touch, and then with his right foot, he's just bent away. Great set play. Wow. Wow, it was a good effort. It's another attempt off target. I just thought it might be on target and the goalkeeper might have got a fingertip. It wasn't. Inches. It missed by inches, as Andy so rightly describes. City trying to win it back off Canos, and they do it. And Sterling ducks into the penalty area. Sterling keeps on going, and that is a penalty to City. This time challenge on Raheem Sterling. City penalty. Down England, no hesitation, Brentford, no argument. No, it's an unbelievable turn of pace from Sterling. And does he get there? What do you think? Do you think VAR are going to come to Brentford's rescue? So Mares, a little bit of a run up, left footed, of course. He is City's penalty taker. Now he comes towards the ball and tucks it into the corner of the net. The goalkeeper goes the wrong way. City won, Brentford nil. Riyad Mahrez, City's top scorer on target again. Fantastic, a great penalty. I, was, I, I never felt any doubt. Um, you know, confident in him. He looked so accomplished at the minute in that responsibility of the penalty. Going back to the penalty, we spoke about it earlier on, Ali. We need them to make a mistake. They gave the ball away in a possession, position on the edge of their box. Now, it's 40 minutes into the game. Put it into the stand and we'll deal with it. But it got caught in possession. Fabulous turn of pace from Raheem Sterling. But they brought it on themselves. And sometimes you need that little bit of luck. And that, is that fatigue? I'm not sure. Well, they didn't come out quickly to block the short corner. No, and De Bruyne nothing. whipped it in. Jao Cancelo's in a shooting position. He hit that sweetly. It flew over the bar by maybe a metre. Pep Guardiola is applauding with his 
uh, hands stretched out above his head and uh, Jao Cancelo puts his hands on his face as if to say I'm unlucky, they have the ball with stones and on it goes to Sterling in the left wing position outside further to Joao Cancelo Joao Cancelo into the box, brilliant Joao Cancelo superb and the shot was on target as well it was a good save by the goalkeeper he was in a tight area Joao Cancelo but he eluded challenge after challenge it's fabulous, it uh, reminded me of Peter Barnes at his very best as a, as, a wide, as a wide winger, you know, as a fullback coming in there, just dribbling past two or three players, and an end product with a shot on goal. He's having a fabulous season, a fabulous season. Brentford are changing their philosophy at the three-quarter point of the match. Oh, they're giving the ball away. Sterling, good save. De Bruyne, 2-0. Shocking from David Raya. Absolutely no need to do it. He's just given the ball straight to Raheem Sterling. Sterling shot saved and De Bruyne tucks in the rebound. Game over. It is, you know, listen, we don't, we don't want to be clever after the event, but we spoke about it, Ali. You come to the home of the champions. The detail on every moment has to be precise. You cannot do what they've done for the two goals. Because you take them out of the equation, they've been, it's, they've been a fantastic opponent for Brentford. They've brought it on themselves, but there's no logic to what he's just done. And again, is it that concentration that's let them down? But it's game over. Yeah, just as they were about to make an attacking change, bringing off on Yaker, a midfielder, bringing on an attacker in Visa, they give the ball away. Awful from David Rea. Sterling's shot was saved, but on the rebound, Kevin De Bruyne gets his eighth goal of the season, his seventh in the Premier League. On it goes to De Bruyne, on it goes to João Cancelo. João Cancelo's shot is blocked. Brentford get it away. Rodri hits it first time. Good save, David Rea. Good effort from Rodri. It was an awkward one. It was a bouncing ball. He hit it well, got over the top. Good save. Yes, yeah, so a great, great little play. Cancelo, I thought, I thought he might have um, reversed it to Bernardo Silva. It's coming, it's going in the corner and a great save. Going forward just to cause the striker a problem and not be able to get him to be set. And again, fantastic detail and I love it. I love seeing what they're, what they're doing at the moment in time. Well, a routine 2-0 victory for City. It uh, takes them to, would you believe, 60 points in 24 matches. It means they're 12 points clear of second place Liverpool who play Leicester City tomorrow night. It's uh, one of those days, I suppose, when it was about breaking down the stubborn resistance. They got the opening goal from the penalty spot. Riyad Mahrez taking his tally to 16 for the season, 7 in the Premier League. He tucked away the penalty after Sterling was upended. And then Kevin De Bruyne pouncing after Sterling had been gifted a really bad ball forward by the goalkeeper, David Rea. Sterling hit the shot, it's a good save, but uh, De Bruyne tucked in the rebound. Uh, Joao Cancelo's been Man of the match today. I don't think anybody would argue with it. And City, march on. City two. Finland.